everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have some newborn favorites for you guys. So most of you will know by now that I had a baby uh, like two and a half-ish months ago. And I definitely have found some things now that like he loves and we love to use. Um, and things that just get used like regularly in our house mold with a newborn. So I want to share them with you guys here. Um, I think I have most of the stuff with me. If I don't, I will definitely like pop in pictures and stuff throughout here. And everything will be linked below in case you're curious about any of this stuff. Maybe you are about to give birth or have a newborn and you're looking for, you know, a solution to an issue. I might have something for you. So let's just dive right in. Sorry, I'm watching him on the monitor. I just try to put him down for a nap and um, he's fussing. So let me go deal with him first and then I'll come back and finish this. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's calm for a little while now. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that I love and my husband was originally like, why would you spend and want to spend that much money? But now he loves it too, is the Snuggle Me. This has a cover on it right now. I'll link the cover to it as well. But we just have like the plain gray one. Um, this thing is amazing. Totally worth the money. I'm sure like the Dakotat is too, but it's just so nice to have another place to put him down, whether it's on the couch with us, in bed with us, like if we're just sitting in bed um, and we want don't want to have to like keep getting up to like calm him down or something. Um, this is just like a great comfortable place for him to be. I know this might be a little controversial and some people are probably not going to like this, but I did let him sleep in this for a while too. Like we put this in his bassinet at night and this is what he would sleep in in his pack and play down here. We would let him take naps and sleep in this for a while. We're trying to transition him out of that now, but he just loved it. He loved how cozy he was in it. It just was like a great place to just put him down, let him be snuggled, let him be happy there. And he just loved it. We loved it. We literally would like bring it upstairs and downstairs constantly with us. And it's just amazing. Um, so if you're like on the fence about spending that much money on one of these, they're totally worth it. I love ours. Like I said, I'll link the cover too, because it does tend to like spin up on them. The Snuggle Me is machine washable, which is great too, but it was just easier just to get a couple covers to go on it too. So we weren't watching it constantly. The other thing that wasn't super expensive, but we definitely use it a lot. And again, I'll link the covers we have for it as well, is our Boppy. Um, even as we are like bottle feeding him at night and stuff, it is so convenient to have this. It's easy to like prop him up against us on, to like use to burp him, to kind of like rest him up against after we're done feeding him all sorts of stuff. This thing is just amazing. And I know you can use it in other ways once they're like older and stuff too. But for the newborn stage, this is amazing. It really is so comfortable. And like breastfeeding him was easy in this. Um, like I said, bottle feeding, everything. So, so convenient. My husband even likes to use it when he's bottle feeding him like in the middle of the night. It's just an easy way to like help support him so our arms don't get as tired. And it's just super, super convenient. So again, if you're like on the fence about a breastfeeding pillow or like a feeding pillow thing in general, I think they're totally worth it. I really like ours and I'm sure there's a bunch of different ones out there, but this is the one I have and I really, really enjoy it. It's seriously a lifesaver. We really do use it quite a bit in our household. Um, the other things that we love are these Target blankets. So my mom actually got me both of these. I don't know how expensive they are, but I don't think they're super expensive. And she actually just got this one again for her house because we're going to visit soon. So that way we don't have to bring a, like too many blankets with us. So we'll have one at her house. But these are so nice. They have a really nice like soft fluffy side and then kind of a more soft like velvety side. And I love these for everything. We put them over him while he's like napping and stuff or like when he's just chilling next to us in the snuggle me. I put these on the ground or on our couch when we're doing tummy time. Um, I usually put the velvet side up when we're doing tummy time because it just wipes up so easily and sometimes he spits up while doing tummy time. Um, so it's easy just to like wipe that off and don't have to like wash it quite as often, but they wash really well. They're super soft and fluffy, but they're not too 
like warm and heavy so we can put him over him in his car seat and not get him like too hot but keep him warm enough. Um, they're just great. And like I said, I don't think they're super expensive. Um, I'm pretty sure these are, yeah, these are Cloud Island brand blankets and they're just so cute. Um, I love this one says, I love you on it. And this one has little whales. I'm sure they have other patterns too, but these are the two my mom got us and they're just so cute, so convenient. And we just love them. Like I said, they wash really, really well too, which is always important with a newborn who's getting things on it. So love these and like blankets in general are amazing but these two happen to be some of my favorites i just think they're really really nice ones especially coming from target so easy to find and like i said i'm sure they're not super super expensive okay something we use a ton of and if you have a boy i actually recommended this to my hairdresser recently because she's having a boy soon um is burp claws tons and tons of burp claws i'm sure girls do this too but boys especially like to pee on the changing pad after you take their diaper off. So I use these for more than just burping. Um, I will put these on the changing pad, like under his little butt and underneath his head. So if he like spits up while we're changing him, or again, if he happens to pee before I can get the next diaper on, it kind of helps protect the changing pad. So I don't have to like constantly be cleaning the changing pad. I can just throw this in the dirty pile and we're good to go. Um, so I like these ones from Burt's Bees. They're very absorbent, um, but they're super lightweight. So they're really easy to like pack in the diaper bag or whatever, throw over your shoulder while you're burping him, all that fun stuff. I just think they're really great. We have a bunch of them and we are using them constantly. You can actually see we have one underneath his little head and his crib in case he spits up. So that way we don't have to change the crib sheet as much either. I just, I use these everywhere constantly. There's like always a couple downstairs, a couple upstairs, out and about, and they're just amazing. The other ones we really like are these muslin cloths. So I actually use these when he's in the bathtub, um, for spit up, for just about everything the burp cloth would be, burp cloth would be used for, but also they're really nice just to like wipe his face off really quick if he's a little wet and wipe his face off or his little hands or whatever. And like I said, in the bathtub, they're really convenient. So there's a ton, a ton of options for these as well. Um, these ones are just from Amazon. I don't know the exact brand, but I'll link these ones, but I'm sure there's a ton of options out there for muslin cloths. Um, and they're just nice and soft and convenient for a number of things. So definitely burp cloths in general are a favorite in our household. We use so many of them. The other thing I don't have with me right now, but I'll pop a picture of it is his gas medicine. He is a very gassy baby for some reason. We don't know why. Um, he just gets a lot of gas. Infants tend to get gas. They don't have uh, fully developed digestional systems, so they tend to be gassy. Um, and we love the Little Remedies gas drops. They're safe for them to use. We just give it to him whenever he seems to be fussy from gas. You know, he's pushing his little legs a lot and he's just upset and gassy. We just give him some of this and it really does help. And yeah, I mean, we enjoy using it for him to help soothe him. Um, our doctor said it was fine, all that stuff. So obviously check with your pediatrician, your doctor, whatever, before you give them to your baby, but they are safe and effective. Um, and our doctor said it was fine. So these gas drops are definitely like always with us whenever we're feeding him, just in case he gets gassy after he's fed. Um, the other things I don't have with me, but I will obviously insert um, videos of me actually like wearing him in them are our carriers. So we actually have two and I've talked about these carriers a lot and I like them both for different reasons. First of all, we have this Omni cool one. It's like from Ergo Baby, I think. Um, and it is great for like our walks outside. If we're going to be, you know, hiking, we have a Disney trip coming up. I'm sure we'll take it on our Disney trip because it's just a little bit more supportive. It has a lumbar support uh, thing in the back. It's got thicker straps. It's just a little bit more supportive. It also has a cover that goes over his head. So if it's really sunny out, he's protected from the sun. Um, and it's just a little bit more of a substantial carrier. So like I said, for, th for things like going on walks with the dog, for hiking, for 
you know, carrying him for an extended period of time. This one's great and I love it. I take our dog Tahoe for a walk almost every single day and I'm saying you take the baby with me, um, but it's hard to push a stroller and walk a dog. So this is the carrier I would use for those sort of situations. And then we also have this mom cozy one um, that is a great for around the house. It's really easy to put on. It gets on quickly. He gets in it quickly. So if he's really fussing and all he wants is to be held, this makes it really convenient, really easy just to like throw on and throw him in. Um, and it's nice and lightweight. And so it's great for like around the house. Like I said, like when he's super fussy and all he wants is to be held, this is my go-to carrier. I don't think I would use it for, you know, like walks or anything. I have used it on one walk before and it just didn't feel quite as secure on our walks with a dog pulling me. Um, and it definitely wasn't as comfortable like on my back because, you know, obviously he's on my front, so it's putting some extra pressure on my back. Um, it just wasn't quite as comfortable and supportive in that area. But I do love it for around the house and for like, um, we're gonna use it when we go to fly. We figured that would be really light and convenient, easy to carry him around in um, through the airport and onto the plane and stuff like that. So we'll probably use it for that. So yeah, they definitely both have their pros and cons, but I like them both. And I would definitely recommend both of these carriers. Okay, I don't have any like specific clothes or like brand of like onesies or anything that we really like, but I do have a pair of socks I really like. My mom actually got him some little baby Bombas um, for Christmas before he was even born. And we love these. They're really nice and thick, which is great. Um, they stay on his feet really well. They're a good size, they're nice and stretchy. And yes, yeah, so if you're looking for some like nicer socks, they are more expensive of like a baby sock, but they are really, really nice. Um, they come in a bunch of like fun, crazy colors, so they go with everything. Um, and yeah, I just really like these socks for some reason. I don't know, I wanted to mention them. Like I said, they are a little bit more expensive, but they are really, really nice. And we've actually already talked about like when he's ready for the next size, we're gonna get him some more of them because they're just so nice, especially for like the cooler times of the day and night. Um, and like he was born, it was in the winter. So um, they were nice and thick for his feet to keep them warm when it snowed and stuff. So we really like these. Oh, I left the wipes upstairs too. So these are our favorite wipes. These are the Pampers Pure Aqua Wipes. They are so, so nice. We love the little like pop top things. We had a different kind from Pampers before and not all of them had the little like pop top. I just had like the little sticker that closed over it and we did not like that at all. The wipes dried out really quickly. The like little sticker lost its stickiness really quickly. It was just super inconvenient. Um, so we love these ones. We actually got a huge box of them from Sam's Club. I would highly recommend looking, you know, at Sam's Club or Costco for these kind of things because you go through wipes really quickly. So yeah, we love these ones. So I just want to mention these really quickly. These are our favorite wipes. They are so, so good. The other kind of grooming things I want to mention are all from Frida Baby or Frida Mom or whatever it is. Um, and there are some grooming things. So we got a couple different of their grooming kits and I'll link the two that we got, but these are my favorite things from those grooming kits. So if you're looking for just like individual items, you don't wanna buy the whole grooming kit. These are the things I would get first. Um, the baby nail clippers, these are amazing. They're really easy to use. Baby, <laughs> at least my baby tends to move around a lot while I'm trying to clip his nails. So these make it really convenient because they have a little bit bigger of a grip they're a little bit easier to use. They're a little bit more sensitive, I would say. They're easier to clip their nails um, because they're a little bit more responsive. You don't have to push down quite as hard to get them to, um, to clip the nail. So I don't have to worry about kind of like hitting him or anything. They're very convenient. Um, I think most of the time it comes with a little nail file. I find this really convenient too because obviously it's gonna leave like a sharp corner or something on their nails. So just to file that down so they don't scratch you or scratch themselves is really convenient. Um, it's nice and fine, so it's not gonna like hurt them or anything, but it does take down that sharpness of the nail. So I love those two. And then the other thing I really like is this little hairbrush. It's just a really soft bristle, 
bristled brush. His hair tends to get all crazy after we bathe him. So I just kind of run this over his hair really quickly and it smooths it down and makes it look a little bit less crazy. He has some like weird cowlicks in the back of his head. It's really cute, but they get a little crazy. So this little brush is super convenient. He actually really likes it when I use it on his head. So soft, so convenient, and I really, really like all three of these things from Frida. I don't know if it's Frida Mom, Frida Baby, whatever it is. Um, like I said, I'll link the grooming kits, but these are the my top three from those grooming kits. The other thing to consider in terms of like grooming and keeping them clean and happy um, is Aquaphor. I got the healing ointment. This is the baby one. I don't know if this is any different than normal Aquaphor. Um, but if it is, this is the one I've been using on him. He has gotten diaper rash like a couple times and this is great for that. Um, just take a little bit after they're all clean, dry, all that stuff and just put it right on their bum. It works really, really well. The diaper rash goes away within like 24 hours. Like this really, really helps. Um, and I'm sure we'll use this, you know, if he gets any little cuts or anything. He hasn't had any other issues. He has had a little dry patch like on his eyebrow before. I put a little bit on there. It helps that. Um, I love Aquaphor personally for myself. So I knew I was going to like Aquaphor for my child and I do. It's just so convenient. It works so well. Super gentle and just it really does work. Aquaphor is just amazing for so many things. So I would highly recommend. I got a nice big bottle of this. It goes in our, our diaper bag. We have a small bottle for our diaper bag and you know it's just super convenient. We really, really enjoy having this. We just leave this right next to our changing table in case we see he's getting a little diaper rashy. This is what we use. So great. The last thing is his pacifier. Babies can be really picky about pacifiers and I resisted giving him one for a long time, but he really does like having a pacifier and I got him a couple different kinds, but this is the one he likes. These are the bibs. He really, really likes these. They're nice and lightweight, so they're not like pulling on his mouth or anything. They don't fall out super easily when he's like, you know, moving around and stuff. The other ones we got have like a bigger little handle and they kind of are like back heavy. So when he like moves, they'll fall out really easily. They're a little bit thinner of like a actual pacifier. And he just didn't like them. So these are his favorites from Bibs. They're so nice. They have different sizes depending on their age. He just really, really enjoys them. I don't know. So if you're looking for a pacifier to try out, I would recommend bibs. They're great. They're, like I said, they're nice and lightweight plastic. Um, and they just work, work great as a pacifier. <laughs> um, so I think those are all of my favorite things for him. Like I said, we are still learning and, you know, trying new things. But this is what's worked for us consistently. And these are things we've definitely used a ton in the past couple months for him. And that he really likes. So hopefully you guys maybe got some recommendations that you were going to try out. If you have any like newborn, infant, baby things that you love and recommend all the time to people, leave them down below for me. I'm very curious what you guys love and use all the time. I'm also moving into that baby stage who's no longer going to be a newborn. <laughs> so sad. Um, so I'm always looking for more recommendations for him as he grows and gets older. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'd love to have you subscribe and join our little adventure family here. And yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.